Good evening. Hello and welcome to WooTube. My name is Baran Wu. What's up, Aksu? How are you doing? So hopefully the microphone is like working tonight, right? I think I I think I might have solved the issues. Um, let me know if uh, it all goes tits up. Um, also, finally worked out how to give myself dual screens with just an iPad, which means that I can actually see if my face is covering up like the stuff that's going on, which is really, really useful. Um, so yeah, uh, hopefully a massively improved stream with no technical glitches whatsoever, because that is what I've become known for now, right? The smooth glitch free stream. Uh, how's everyone doing? Um, oh, I definitely should have up, like uploaded this picture, uh, as you are in the chat, maybe I can, maybe it's, I can get it on my phone and I took a, you know, when you're just walking around in, in this case in London and you just see, oh, is this even going to be visible? It's totally not. Oh, there we go. I just thought, uh. You know, that just kind of reminded me of someone. So there it is. Uh, your own food centre. Um, if it is your own food centre, wow, impressive. Um, all right. Uh, so today, what are we doing? We're going to play a Ken deck because we can. Um, but maybe I'll get onto that in a second. Tiny bit of kind of the usual... I say news, it's not news, it's like just what I like to do is like dig around on what deck lists have been uh, kind of interesting on, on NR Netrunner DB recently. Um, and this is what I found. Um, so Bridgman put, uh, put on us a, a tournament to welcome soccer, who's doing a little like mini European tour. Um, and him and Soccer gave each other a little challenge, um, which was that they picked the corpse for the other person. So I think Soccer picked Bridgman's corpse, uh, or sorry, corpse and runners, identities, I should say. Um, Soccer picked Spark and Khan for Bridgman to play. And oh, I can't remember what Bridgman chose for Soccer. I think... I think Hiobu was maybe the corp. I genuinely can't remember the runner right now. Um, but uh, Bridgman only went and, and won the tournament, obviously, because it's Bridgman. Um, so he was playing this spark with um, a bunch of advertisements, obviously. Um, very little ice and... Apparently he was scoring out artificial crypto crashes in this thing. So that's pretty cool. Um, yeah. And then he got this runner and like, again, he came first with this. He took Khan. He won a tournament with it. To be quite fair, Khan is not really firing in it. Like he has free, free icebreakers. Um, essentially the idea of installing an Amina for like, free kind of using chess for credits is pretty sick ah yeah um thanks aksu uh soccer got a kiko as his run i really want to know how soccer did i didn't actually check the standings um but bridgman basically just put together a pretty sick looking card deck here um this looks quite fun i would be really tempted to cut the deuces and cut the DZMZ and play one copy of the twinning. Um, and I wonder if he considered that. Um, uh, I guess if you wanted, you could always play T400 as bad as it is. Um, oh my gosh, soccer came second. Are you serious? Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure like, I'm pretty sure basically if you, uh, if you're in one of the, um, one of the top testing teams, then then you're essentially cheating at the game. I think we can all 
all um, uh, agree on that, right? That's uh, like just a, uh, it's just cheating in advance, really. Um, so yeah, but this looks like, you know, this is just absolute good stuff, kind of criminal. Um, it's got some boomerangs and masterwork to take advantage of the Chesvers, but looks like actually quite a lot of fun, even though Khan's never really gonna fire, which is a bit of a shame. Um, and then um, less about the deck, but more about the, the, the poster here. I'm pretty sure this is the person, and I'm really sorry if it isn't, but um, I could not remember their name for the life of me. Actually, I guess check i could check here wait a second um i'll i'll like recognize the name i'm sure because yes it was it was it was this person so they ran into me the other day and they said oh i've been playing a jank um a jank deck which i think you would like to have a look at um and i think i'm probably gonna have to try it at some point in the future and basically their idea it, it was also a ken deck and i think that was mainly for influence but we can we can look at whether that's right or not it was playing um the kind of the really good run package in criminal so it had penny shaver and it had bankrolls and it had amakua and it had aeneas informants right all very good kind of especially if you can like run lots of times and then it was playing ghost tongue and marathon which is just so cool <laughs> Um, if you don't know Marathon, like uh, that is not a very well-known card because it's not very good, but it's real kind of jank fodder, this one. So this is a one cost, that's an important factor, um, shaper run event, which says make a run on a remote server. When the run ends, gain a click and add Marathon to your grip instead of trashing it if the run was successful. You may not make another run on that server for the remainder of this turn. So the like the the dream here is for someone to go horizontal put out like seven or eight servers and you can check every single one of them uh meanwhile you're making penny shaver bucks bankroll bucks if you're not trashing something then you make any informant bucks you might be gaining turtle counters all of that kind of stuff um in the meantime and because you're playing ghost tongue then this doesn't cost anything to play each time so you can get an absolute ridiculous amount of value off it now it's the kind of deck which is kind of only good against like really horizontal decks um but right now it's quite a few of them um and i said well surely the problem is like like a lot of the stuff in ob for instance you kind of need to trash and they said well yeah so you just run one time normally and then you go back with the marathon to trash it it's genius and then you get your aeneas informant like um money from the first time like it is brilliant um yes actually you're absolutely right if you like run into a spin doctor by accident or they manage to end a run or something like that it's not a successful run and it's suddenly not um it's not returned to your hand and you've just lost five pips of influence but i've i've always dreamed of marathon decks i love the idea of this card and uh if we can make it kind of do something in a future stream then we will because that sounds like a ton of fun uh but anyway um that's not what we're going to play today today i was meant to be playing corp and then i had some thoughts um about the current meta um the ob deck being one of one of the things so i'm kind of thinking well what's the big like what's the big issues in current standard format uh, and we've got the kind of the ridiculous um clown car servers with like a load of hendrix and who knows what else going on and agendas and blah 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 um we've got fake points they're an issue um we've got uh pe especially pe 
with like again normally a, a good few things in the servers in particular war or trackers which like every deck seems to be running like free war or trackers I'm not surprised it's a good card um plus like the occasional smattering of like like with the ob deck we've got um they're running free copies of uh hostile architecture so it's thinking about this and it made me think the answer to all of these decks is this card right here, which is one of my like favorite unplayable cards. Um, this is basically uh, uh, what's the good version of this called? What's the new Anarch resource which trashes all the stuff instead um, and does a brain damage? Um, I must have one. Actually, I don't know if I've got one in any of my decks. Um, this is the bad version of that card. Um, but I love it. It's a it's a Shaper card. It's a Shaper run event, which is like totally my... Light the Fire, yeah. This is like the bad Shaper version of Light the Fire. Um, but it's actually really cool, specifically at this moment in the meta. Don't ask me what we do if we run into Ag Infusion. If we do run into Ag Infusion, then we should have put direct access in here, which is actually like a pretty good card in Ken. Um, but this is actually in a few like test games. This isn't like a stellar deck, but because I can has been surprisingly excellent in quite a few games, which has been great. Um, so I've enjoyed playing it. Um, it's also a zero cost run event, which means that we gain money from playing it out of Ken. Um, and should this be like a different sh ID? Probably, but then we don't get the really cool name. And that's the important thing here. Um, so what else are we playing? We're playing obviously a load of run events because we're Ken. We're playing Bravados. We're playing Carpe Diems. We're playing Dirty Laundries. Uh, we've got some Jailbreaks. We've got an Overclock. We've got two Pinhole Threadings all good you'll notice zero diversions is that because i forgot to put them in originally maybe but also i actually think diversion like especially in a deck like this where we're really not challenging their economy in a particularly big way elsewhere i don't think diversion is a good card right now like you don't want to play it into the ob like the ob matchup can either duck the diversion or they want to duck the diversion anyway so that's pretty bad um there's a ton of decks going around which are playing bladder warts who just love being on like zero credits so it's bad against them i just don't think it's actually a very good card at the moment but what i decided was a good card at the moment instead is embezzle and maybe we should be on three of these because um I actually think this is pretty sick and we've got a little bit of um additional tech to help out our embezzles as well um embezzle right now there's like a load of fast advanced decks um embezzles great against them there's a load of decks which want to hold combo stuff in hand like hard hit news and um uh, economic warfare embezzles great against them um oh and that's the other reason i think diversion is bad is that um currently obviously Asmari is like like really really hot and diversion against Asmari is pretty bad because you give them two then you take away five so unless they're on exactly three credits it's like it never feels like a great trade um yeah so that's like all of our events we've got some deuces wild because it's a good card uh unfortunately it's not a run event although it does allow us to run but we are running turtle so deuces is good for that uh, we got a couple of boomerangs um and then i wanted i needed some like uh i needed some win cons which were blue um so we've got a copy of wake it's good and then we got a virtuoso originally two now one but actually probably the right thing here because what we're just looking to do is like get as many accesses as possible um and virtuoso when we are playing things like um embezzle it's actually really good like 
this could be the reason for us playing like free embezzles and maybe play an extra virtuoso because you're seeing a lot of cards from hand um and a lot of the time they're just kind of like the same cards which you're seeing over and over again if you're like running a lot and all of a sudden you're like you've got a pretty good idea of what's in hand and they often can't keep agendas in hand which is the one thing that embezzles really bad at, at because the classic like you play embezzle when you hit two agendas and you feel really bad about your day virtuoso plus embezzle very good um breakers pretty standard here begolta paperclip unity nothing surprising an amakua uh because we're criminal a couple of chesses could be um bankrolls you know there's a variety of things I, again i don't think tapworms correct here um but you know this is like a pretty a pretty kind of movable slot um nuka for draw um i found that actually two nuka two class acts i did originally have an earth rise in here as well but this plus Deduces has actually been like enough draw um pretty good a mamey uh i originally had a prepaid in here uh no docklands i haven't got a docklands because virtuoso kind of is your docklands if you roll hq and yeah it would be good as well but I, I kind of think that i kind of feel like docklands is better if you're really trying to slow down the, the corp a lot and their like agendas like if we were playing maybe some more inside jobs and we were playing diversions then i might want docklands because that's when agendas start to like flood up in hq um it is good with with virtuoso the, the combo is nice uh, but we're kind of using Virtuoso as our like HQ multi-access as well. Um, we've only happened to install one thing. Uh, we've got an info bounty, which has just proven to be pretty excellent. Um, one Miss Bones, because, um, because sometimes we can't. And that's it. I mean, it's like, it's pretty standard. We're going to try and go pretty quick, um, especially as there has been server issues um today or the last few days anyway uh on both platforms we're gonna play runner there we go um but yeah uh how's everyone's weekend mine was knackering i went to a wedding which is kind of fun, but going to a wedding with a, a four-year-old plus dragging that four-year-old around London and on the tubes and, and the coach and everything in the heat uh, turned out to pretty much, like, destroy me. Uh, so I felt pretty knackered by the time we got back yesterday. Um, probably the uh, least relaxing weekend for a while. We've got Kuchin. Hey, hey. Uh, very nice player playing mirror morph that's kind of terrifying sometimes hey, hey. okay this feels like a pretty decent opening i think um Haxu had a free day weekend. You see, mine was a free day weekend and it was exhausting. So it's like the opposite of yours. Um, but yeah, uh, I think we're going to probably keep this hand. This feels pretty good. Um, so Mirror Morph, we're probably expecting to lose out on some clicks at some point. It's going to make us wish that we were on Swift. I mean, I'm just assuming that they're uh, that they're on MCA. It's just the best thing to do in Mirror Morph. But nicely, if they're on MCA and like a bunch of uh, Waroid trackers, for instance, uh, we can deal with that quite well. Um, should we run first click? Yeah, why not? Let's do this. Run HQ. Sure. Magnet. That's fine.
Uh, we can draw a couple. Oh, we draw straight into our unity, which isn't like the best thing to get through a magnet, but with a chesver as well is, is reasonable. We draw again, two embezzles. Now, I probably want to get a bit of info about HQ before we start embezzling them. So I might install these two and just run HQ for one. Probably feels fine. Um, right, do we reckon they're emptying their hand? They might be. Let's draw one. Oh, that choice is good. Okay, so that's maybe where our... Let's check archives now. I should have just run the Spin Doctor, really. Okay. We're putting this down, we click for a credit. Like essentially maybe just hitting HQ for a single, seeing what's going on would have been fine there. Virtuoso could be pretty key here if they are like MCA. Yeah, here we go. Um, we roll HQ, so we could go one, two and run, or do we boomerang it? I think we probably want to keep the boomerang for this. Uh, what is it at the moment to look at? Is there a chance they're on like hard hitting news? Like sometimes you see that out of these MCA decks. Haven't done the maths here, but I assume it's only cost me like one real credit. Should have like just enough to steal. Oh no, I don't have a click left to steal the um for watching my doodad. We see a big fair child. Good to know. And a managum. Okay. Right, well, that's probably the Managarm, so now we need to, like, look for our archives. It's nice. Let's draw. Um... Do I need to get rid of this, like, now? I think I don't yet. Maybe I run archives now in case they've got the five free in hand. <sighs> Kill a spin doctor. Hey source, what's going on? Yeah, we're um we're uh, we're playing embezzle and because I can because we can. Uh, I don't think I trash this right now, not with another one on the board. Um, do I really get to see this? First time you make a successful effect. Otherwise breach HQ when the run ends. Sick, I can get rid of this mana gun. Oh, I should have got rid of a spin doctor because I had chess for credits to do it. And that, oh no, I don't. I remember this because this is after a run end. Anyway, uh, I could run back in for a single. I know there's a spin doctor. I think that's like good enough. Running back in with jailbreak next turn is potentially better. Ah, oh, they're scoring out already. Or they're like hard hitting using us. 
hard, hard hitting newsing us. What's up, Fix? How you doing? Fix, are you around this week for for um for real life games? Your cam window. Oh yeah, you see, so this is oh gosh. Right. Look, I've got a thing ready for this. I was just saying earlier how I'd actually set this up. Oh my word, how many clicks do they have? Um <laughs> I was just saying earlier how I set this up with dual screens so that I can see and make sure that I'm not masking the cards and I'm not actually apparently paying attention to those dual screens. Are they just sticking another MCA in here? I wouldn't be surprised. Okay, so we think that is... So we know there's a spin doctor in hand. Uh, we don't know any. We don't know anything anymore. That's a shame. Uh, so we could run this second spin doctor. I really need some. I really need like a dirty laundry here. Do we run the second spin doctor, and if so, do they pop it? Kind of really want to find a Miss Bones. It's not a Miss Bones. Um, so I could see what this card is and then I could embezzle it. It's a bit low value. Really? Or kind of want to know what it is anyway. A sprint. Do I want to get rid of a sprint? This will gain me. Only four pay for itself. I guess so. Doesn't feel great. Uh, we'll say operation. I guess the doof might have been better there. <laughs> they might just score out a free two. Yeah. At least they're going like quite poor here. Um. Ah, <laughs> oh, wicked fix. That'd be great if you if you are down on. Um, on Wednesday. Okay, HQ, not great. Let's draw one. Okay, HQ is slightly better to run now. But we don't get much value out of it. I think we'll run this second spin doctor. Maybe we run the first one. They pop it. Then we run the second one. Then we jailbreak HQ. I think that might be a uh, so now let's just kind of hope that they drew into we're going to see all of their hand. We're also going to discard one card, but I think that's fine. The lag is a little slow tonight, but it's at least not completely undoable. Tollbooth. Pretty gross. 
uh, hedge fund. That's a shame. And a Rashida, which will trash. Tall booth hedge fund. Um, I think we have to get rid of one because I can, unfortunately. At least they can't afford. Oh, as soon as they play the hedge fund, they can afford to risk the toll booth. So I assume they put that on. Hmm. Okay, so that's something they drew this turn. Do we just like barrel into it first click? This feels like the toll booth. Maybe they're worried about embezzle. I think we can run here. Like first click. What's really nasty? Mm, a Hagen might be annoying. A drafter is bad, but not awful, depending on whether they can stop us getting to the Rashid of a bail inevitably in storm. Okay. Uh, Hagen is annoying. Um, so we're going to lose our Chesper here. Do we go back? There's a chance this is a Managarm, right? And if this is a Managarm, then that will suck because we're not going to get our boomerang back. Sick. We barrel into R and D last click. I don't think so. Let's just draw. We really need like some money. <laughs> money would be good. Any money would be good. Well, next turn at least we like nuka. Draw a dirty laundry. Hundred percent gonna happen, right? Or a bravado. Restore. Makes sense. Um, We can't actually... Oh. Oh, yeah. Did they shuffle back their MCAs? Okay, so if we draw into a pinhole, then we're actually pretty good as well here. <clears throat> uh... Let's draw into one of those two things. Oh, that's really bad. <laughs> um, wow. Are we just clicking for two here? Feels rough. I like turtle. Hmm. Hmm. Genuinely don't know what to do here. We could put a boomerang here and then because I can for Rashida. And if this is any ice, then they res it. And if it's a fair child free, then we probably lose the game hmm. I 
think I just have to click the credits, which feels really bad, and I don't know what I'm throwing out. I, I mean, I know that I'm probably throwing out because I can, but that's what I'm really sad about. Probably the turtle. Like, I really need the draw from this. I need to play the gamble. Um, I probably need this boomerang. The embezzle is potentially... Oh, I guess actually, like, they're maybe about to res a tall booth on HQ, which makes the embezzle, like, quite hard to land. Oh, yeah, somewhere there's a big fair child. That is true. Somewhere there's a fair child out, which is, like, nine credits, and we can just end the run, I think. This has felt pretty rough, though, in terms of, like, I thought we had a good start. Uh, where's all our run events? Or our, at least our run events which make us money. Hmm. So I can go credit, gamble, class act, because I just need to get some cards in hand. I probably can't threaten this. Maybe I... Mm, no, there's no point in me running this last click. And we just take a credit, which feels really bad, but... I'm going to draw a ton. Right, we want this. Um, we can get rid of the other class act. This is still like, where's all our bravados and all our dirty laundries and our other two carpe diems? Oh, if they just score here, then I'm in like an absolute ton of trouble. Yeah. Well, we lost this one fair and square. By being very slow. Okay, at least I can um right, let's find a date laundry. Right, there's at least like one. <laughs> um we'll put the pinhole back. We have one in hand. We'll dirty laundry archives. Hopefully we just rip the agenda that's in hand out of hand. We see a tall booth. Oh my gosh, they're on like multiple tall booths. Should have played a hush. Um, we might want to get paperclip in the bin. I think we want to get paperclip in the bin. So maybe we just pull paperclip so that we can discard it. No, we definitely don't want to do that. And then we'll install this and then we'll throw out kind of really probably need this. I probably need this. Oh, these are all good cards. I'm going to have to throw out the wake, which is going to suck. But I'm pretty sure that this is a horrendous piece of ice, which I can't get through many times. So I guess that's fine. And I mean, the embezzle might be the only thing that keeps us in the game if they're on like biotic labor. I guess the boomerang can probably go now because once I install the Bogolta, We might be all right. Um, I'm pretty sure the Fairchild can only be on server one, maybe. Oh, do we just lose here? Oh, GG. GG. <laughs> I drew no money that game. Right, well, that felt <clears throat> anticlimactic.
Um, we're going to try again. I, I think this deck can do better than that. <laughs> Streaming. In all the area codes. Uh, the lag... Hey, Gia, how you doing? Um, the lag is better than it was yesterday. Um, but still not amazing. Uh, and part of the reason why I'm not playing like I was originally considering playing a court deck today and it was a much like this is at least a fast deck <laughs> supposedly um, like it doesn't have lots of stuff that we got to click on or anything like that so just trying to kind of make it as fast as possible um, but yeah, it's like been a bit slow recently. Got to just snipe some deaf remote acid. Yeah, that's all we need. We just need our oh, sources. Source knows everything that we're up to, but that's fine. He's going to come in and play a deck with like three board controls, which just shuts us out. Or he's going to be on Ag Infusion. And I'll be really upset with him because like we lose to Ag Infusion so hard. Spark. Okay. This is fine. Um so he's gonna he's playing I'm pretty sure he's playing um Bridgman's deck, which we could look at again. Um we got an embezzle to start with, which actually feels pretty good. We've got a Chesva, which feels pretty good. Got juices. I think we keep this. Like, we probably go, like, Ches for Carpe Diem. Hopefully trash something from wherever we run. <laughs> no worries. Good luck, have fun. Um, I mean, alternatively, we just, like, embezzle for asset like turn one it's like quite tempting we might want to keep the embezzled well there's like no operations in this deck though the ones which are in there are powerful because um we there's a chance that we want to keep the embezzles for when he has hard hit muses and the shipment shipment from vladisibursk cool okay uh do we put the Chesva down before we run? Sure. Like a bit risky. Run on archives. Feels well, maybe he has to pop his spin doctor now, we'll find out. He does. Excellent. Okay. That's at least something. I think we just draw one. I kinda wanna keep this deuces. Um and then Do we because I can this? Do we, because I can, a wall to wall? It's what, um, no, I'm going to wait. Uh, we're drawing again. Virtuoso could be really good. Could be really good. And in fact, we can play Virtuoso and play Carpe Diem, and then we get a mark. Which means that we don't have to wait till the start of turn. The only issue is that we're a bit poor to do that. Um, so the ice in this deck, I know there's one Hydra, which is pretty spicy. We probably can't play the Virtuoso this turn then. Let's see if he reses anything. He does. Um... Maybe we, because I can that. Let's just like at least identify a mark. So yeah, let's run RD. Uh, we can trash that with just for credits. That feels pretty good. 
I will draw. Um, we'll draw again. And I think we just get rid of a Marilyn, right? Like <laughs> the irony, the, the, the thing here, right, is if we run and trash it with money, then it goes back into the deck anyway. So we're, we're doing this for free. Um, whilst playing expertly around the downside of Marilyn itself. Like I do like wall to wall in Spark is, is very mean because you can always just put it back to HQ and keep reinstall it, like keep getting your Spark trigger off it, which is pretty nice. Um, Kagoscab, Kagol Scab, Uh, I missed your question, but we are playing this deck here, which has um. Oh, look, I think I did. Did I do it like this? Yeah. Uh, we're playing three copies of Beast of Cause I Can. And we've got some embezzles. And we've got Virtuoso as our console, uh, which is like the kind of the spice, I guess. Um, okay. Do we trash this one? Probably don't trash this one. Might check. HQ ice. I could jailbreak. Is there any ice that actually stops me? Enigma. It's more likely to be like IP block, right? I can't actually remember what's in here. Let's go HQ and we'll... um. We get a credit from doing this. If it's IP block, then we can we can chess for through it. It is IP block. Really occurred to me when I was looking through the the cards which are going to rotate. But what what is MBN going to do for an I for an ice sweep once rotation happens? Because right now, MBN's ice, like in pretty much every competitive deck, is three copies of Turnpike, three copies of IP Block. Um, and both of those cards disappear. Like, what? The, I mean, obviously, like new ice might come out, which might change things, but. Um, okay, hard hit news in hand, but yeah, I just don't know what what they actually run. Market forces in hand, so embezzles looking pretty good right now. There's a chance that we want to get rid of this Marilyn. Hmm. I think we're going to check for Rashidas. I assume there's Rashidas. Ooh, there's Beals, I'll tell you that much. Okay, uh, we'll check four. And then we might dirty laundry this Marilyn. Last click. What have we got here? DBS can stay. And yeah, I think we'll we can keep them pretty poor. And then next turn, we might go for an embezzle for operation. 
because it's quite likely that they're gonna stick out like i mean they're spark right so source's best play here is assuming he has them oh he gets all of the water wall i accidentally gave him additional water wall triggers um yeah his best thing for him to do here potentially is to stick out free assets which means that his hand is gonna like be mostly operations that's what i'm thinking um klavetnik yeah they might start playing klavetnik i was considering how i could make um i was considering how how klavetnik could be played as a like reasonable piece of ice the other day and it does play against Bankar pretty well so i wondered about playing it in um in a deck in a kind of uh like you want to be like rushing really hard and trying to get out before they can bank off your ice right that's the that's the only reason to play klavetnik i think currently and so maybe you're playing like a neurospike deck with re-education i do want to check archives in case they threw out their stuff so let's draw once that's pretty good we can play that first we can run archives just to have a little goosey gander okay so i don't actually want to embezzle yet then maybe we just bravado I think Bravado is probably fine. Pay one real credit. Um, Dust Magnet. They'll probably introduce some broken anti fun nonsense to compensate. Interesting. Uh, kind of hard i think nowadays to come up with good new ideas which are oh we still in gender very nice um which haven't been done yet but are also like interesting um you know there's been some cards which have maybe been a little bit on the overtuned side uh but i think like you've got to kind of have those cards you've got to try with those cards at some point right are they going to go down to four cards in hand they're not okay um do we play this deuces for draw i think we can at this point we're like ah oh, and we draw into another deuces so that's pretty good um we'll run over here See what we've got. Launch. We'll trash it. Um, we can run here and still put down a daily cast. And oops, not that one. I will get rid of this DBS at some point, but I want either a because I can, or um, to find my list bones to deal with it, really. Whoa, third spin doctor. Okay. Well, they're all out of the game now. So when we embezzle and trash their operations, it's going to really, really hurt. I'd love to find I'd love to find a nuka would be would be marvelous. I 
oh, we can also dirty laundry now, like into remotes really safely because we know for a fact that none of us have been doctors. Um, so let's draw once. Um, we'll probably go and get rid of that, but we'll draw again first. Can we get rid of that and play a daily cast safely? I think just. This takes us down to seven. They'll be at eight. Maybe, no, they'll be at two, they'll be at three, maybe four. If they have predictive planogram in hand, they might be able to land. I think, I think we're okay. We've got a deuces to get rid of one tag and we'll be able to clear the rest of the tags. And it would need to be like quite a specific hand of cards for them to actually land this. I mean, obviously, like if we were on Penny Shaver, like, yeah. Um, cool. Okay, they're emptying out their. I need to scroll out a little bit here. Tears subscription. Very good. Um, do we embezzle at this point? Probably at this point, right? Okay. Let's draw once first. Let's go for it. Um... We'll let that fire. This is where we like see two beals in HQ. I guess if we see two beals in HQ, then we just go and fetch two beals from HQ. Um, <laughs> feels to me like the court was probably really flooded at the beginning. Probably true. Um, Yeah, we can ask him afterwards. I'm sure he will. Ooh, they're boosting into the trace here. Um, I'm sure he will tell us. Like, I'm, I'm sure he'll rejoin. Um, so we can ask him some questions about it, which is always like kind of fun. I mean, he was definitely, um, he definitely overdrew one and immediately pitched. Uh, we'll call operation. We're going to hit both. Sick. Hard hitting news and shipment from Vladisbursk. You see, who needs doof? This is embezzler is better than doof. Uh, do we have to check ten? Let's draw one. Oh, we could just put this down. And, like control the game. I think this is. Also, I've got a nice four six eight thing going on here, which feels great. Um. Yeah, like I'm, I mean, I'm not a big criminal player anyway, so I probably am like not very good at playing Doof as a card. But if you ask me, currently, Embezzle is the better splash. Um, You know, if you're playing against Sports Metal, like you'll, you'll thank me almost any, I think, um, almost anything that you're playing against. I think uh, um, right, we could trash their board. We could get rid of this and this. And this. Let's draw one in case we draw exactly into a Miss Bones. Let's check 15. And then I think we probably trash these two. Especially with two deuces in hand. Like, we feel 
quite quite safe. Rashida is going straight in the bin. Um. <laughs> that one can go and this one. I guess like tiered subscription maybe. Maybe feels like the better trash fair, but like I just want to keep them off kind of Hydra money. Um, to be it's killing the DBS is probably the most important, hundred percent essentialing, and it's something which I am not respecting uh, as I should be. I did say I said early on I'm going to get rid of that DBS. I haven't done it yet. I should be doing it the the better players out there will be like like you're saying you should be getting rid of a dbs especially as i've got like a virtuoso in hand and, and we could just get them to flood up right now so we're gonna look for a way of getting rid of this dbs easily um we'll just gain money here so we could go play virtuoso play info bounty play carpe diem i think is like at six is there anything really nasty they can res i think i think this is like the fun play so here here normally these cards do nothing until next turn unless we give ourselves Oh, yeah, that'll do. Run on archives, it's kind of perfect. So now, 100%, I'll... I'll ooh, 15 minutes. Thank you very much. Don't mind if I do. So now I need to get rid of a DBS uh, stat because um, Virtuoso is only good if they have no way of... Um, we see an IP block in hand. Good to know. Yeah, if they have no way of uh, stopping flood. As I think I found out the other day, I think I was playing this against a CTM, which actually proved, like, because I can, very good against CTM. Um, that's VIP block, right? Or is it a sneaky Hydra? I guess we could boomerang it if so. Um, archives again actually pretty good for us let's draw do we want to keep this deuces no we're at like 21 credits I think I think we can oh that's that's kind of perfect actually that deals with so many things this is going to deal with whatever this card is or at least we find out or we or we get rid of a DBS with it? Nah, let's just... Let's go into archives. We're also going to get like all of our Mark shenanigans off. Um, We'll see what this card is. It's Rashida. We'll trash that with a chest of credit. We'll get an info bounty. We'll steal a tomorrow's headline. Better get rid of that tag and just draw a card, I think. That was oh now we drew. Okay. So next time we wipe their board. Um That was such a run. Uh Dust Magnet there is not a Docklands in the deck because uh kind of slots. I'm already at 46 cards. Um and Virtuoso is kind of our Docklands. And actually did point out that obviously there's a, a combo with having Docklands and Virtuoso down. But like I'm just using like the Virtuoso if it hits HQ, then I've got my Docklands like done, sorted. 
Um, so we probably check this with a pinhole too, I think. Uh, HQ, so we could, oh, uh, do we want to go in, do we just run here to trash that? I think we probably put this down. We can run server 16. I don't think they can res anything that's really nasty. Okay. So we'll just end the run. We'll get rid of that with a pinhole. If we pinhole HQ, so we could pinhole HQ. <laughs> I think we pinhole HQ because I think we get an access after our run, which is absolutely bug wild. You see, I've, I've not been like super high on the mark stuff, but I think like you just put a little smattering of it in and it's actually like pretty good. Uh, we'll pay free using these credits. We're going to gain two back. We're going to trash this with this money. We're going to see a card from HQ. Like that's a lot of additional value. Uh, so this one here. Oh, we don't get our Virtuoso after us. Is it because this says instead of breaching? First time you surgery. When you breach HQ. Oh, when I breach HQ. Balls. Oh well, I still got my um I got my mark. So now we go and get a DBS. Feels a bit grim at this point, eh? Um, yeah, I guess if I had just pinholed on archives, I could have used the chairs for credits instead. I wonder if that was actually just straight up better. Probably. Uh, I thought I'd get an access on HQ as well. I think HQ is the only one. So it's if it's if you pinhole HQ, you don't get your additional access because it says if that server is HQ, access one additional card when you breach, whereas we're not breaching. But on the other two, so R&D and archives, then the pinhole's better. Learn something every day, you know? Um, they check out some cards. We're going to see where our mark is and then probably just run our mark. Yeah, let's draw first just in case. Uh, that's fine. We can just uh, withdraw. We'll I think we can draw again. Bravado's. Is it better to just bravado? I guess we bravado HQ and then we run archives. Feels kind of right. We maybe trash something here to kind of uh, see an extra card. Surprised we haven't like run dry on on cash yet. I guess we've kind of drawn much better. Also, getting getting an info bounty down is is just so, oh, there we go. GG. Felt a bit rough on your side, that one. Uh, 
Um, yeah. Boom. Embezzle is great. Maybe we should just play, play like, free embezzle. Um, I wouldn't be against playing free embezzle. But maybe... So, if I was playing free embezzle, I'd want to also play something like... Uh, Play, uh, play like find the truth play like find the truth three copies of embezzle or we play sunny and we play free embezzle free white hat and a dj fenris or something like fun like that maybe that's the sunny deck which uh which we could play currently <laughs> um We'll do at least one more. The the lag isn't awful tonight. It's just like a little bit slower. Um, in every hole imaginable. That sounds a bit rude. Probably a bit too rude, but there we go. Um, do we put a third embezzle in? Maybe. Like we could put a third embezzle in instead of the overclock. probably not right two i think is is the correct number um but yeah i was kind of wondering so what i want to do oh manic insomniac uh we're playing isawak so they're trying to go fast we're trying to go fast this looks like a great hand to go fast with uh we're gonna keep that for sure so it's a wax thumb because they're either just trying to go extra, extra fast, in which case we're going to wish that we were on some inside jobs, or they're a trap deck, which this looks more like. And we have the perfect answer to trap decks as long as we can find them. Uh, we didn't find one this turn. I guess doing this last click. Seamless is a problem. So that we wanted to embezzle. This is where, like, definitely want to embezzle. We uh, might be in problems here. Oh. <laughs> oh, wow, pretty gross. So they're on like a blood in the water deck. Glad we've got this nuke here. Uh, we really, oh, this is tempting. All of these cards are good. We really want to find... Mm, nope. Mm, nope. Okay. There's a chance they just advance, advance, and score a blood in the water. Oh my word. I can't believe I didn't get it. Well, that's a start and a half. Yowzers. Do we check this just in case? No, they're on zero credits. Now we draw. Ah! This is what we wanted. We can run R and D here, right? Unless this is a Rashida. If this is a Rashida and they draw into a blood in the water. I'm risking it. <laughs> oh, that's going straight in the bin. Kind of that. Uh, yeah, so we've got our answer to trap decks in the form of because I can. Unfortunately, we are already have been like kind of rushed out. They only need two points now. 
a bit terrifying. Uh, we also want to find more embezzles. Like this is where we wanted free embezzles because like mitosis and seamless launch is how they how they plan to win this. So let's draw. Let's draw. Um, we can go HQ here. They can't fire snare. We see a mitosis. See a hybrid. And we'll draw. Uh, so they probably might host this out next turn, and we probably just have to take the hit on one of them. So we're because I can one, and we'll check the other one. Who wants to call out one, four or five in chat? Four or five. Hit me with a number. Any number, assuming it's four or it's five. Oh, I'm gonna have to pick myself. <laughs> um, it's a four. So now, uh, oh, they could, okay, I was going to say, at least they can't, like, res an NGO and fire a trap. Draw one. Okay, we found another because I can, which is good. We really want to find an embezzle now. Ugh, Rashida. Problem. I wonder if they're on any other fast advance. Okay, protects an HQ. Did we lose? We did lose. Oh, we lost all our wing cons. <laughs> I was going to say, like, Virtuoso is like really quite important now um how bad is is an anansi fire right now and if we pinhole do they pop a spin doctor to stop us hitting it i don't think they're going to be on anansi because I don't think they'll have the money for it. But I will. I am prepared to be proven very much wrong. Okay, fine. Anotoroshi? Yes, please. I will draw one. Do we jailbreak this turn? Yeah. Oh no, I don't have enough clicks. Whoops. Sorry. Well, I had two clicks left. We'll just play this on archives in case they like res a spin doctor to stop us stealing something. Ooh, we see a snare. Okay, so we're throwing out a paper clip. I think we find a pinhole, although we can, like, there is, like, a play of forcing them to 
to maybe expose like their NGOs and their spin doctors before we hit them. But there's also the fact that we're then kind of forced to hit the other thing, which could be pretty bad for us. Okay. I feel like they've got agendas in hand, but I don't think we can check that yet. So let's go R&D. Um, I'd like this not to be an... Oh, I think they might just be on free Otoroshis, which would not surprise me. Uh, we just need to find a Begolter in that case. Although I'll tell you what, getting through two Otoroshis is surprisingly expensive. Um, so do we need our Unity if that's the case? I'm going to put it like uh, Sting hits... Okay, another sting. Info bounty. So if one of these is a sting, we're in a ton of trouble. I quite like this Isawag deck. I'm just going to draw up to try and not die. Like, playing Viral Weaponization actually makes a lot more sense here, because it's, like, quite a bad card to play in PE, but it's potentially a really good card to play if... I just I assume they're on, like, Blood in the Water. Because um, that can be really quite gross in Isawak if you, like, just have left it out with a couple of counters on it, and all of a sudden you pop it with your Isawak ability. Okay, we're going to have to start checking these. We really want to find a Begolta and also an Embezzle because they could double Seamless for the win. Can they just single seam? They can single Seamless for the win. Terrifying. Okay, we found our Begolters, but we didn't. Uh, we found our Embezzles, but we did not find Begolter. Um. I think I have to check this card. I guess I take both the embezzles. I can always like mass draw up last click with the nuka if it's really needed. Okay. Okay. That is terrifying. So they have other fast advance and they only need two points. But are they on two pointers? Is the real big question. Right, what do I do last click? I think I just play a Carpe DM. Uh, because it's a ton of money. And then next turn, I f find my Begolta, right? It will happen. I'm going to see 4 in 16. I haven't lost it. No. do quite like the Otoroshis. Like, I mean, it just makes sense. Mm-hmm. Do I still have a Because I Can left? I have one left. 
Well, so if that's just a 4-2, then we lose. Unless we get rid of it or run it. Uh, let's find a Begolta. We do find a Begolta. And we find a Because I Can. Okay, we're actually like... So we can Because I Can this. We can install the Begolta. And then we can Bezel HQ. And I think we do it in that order. In case this is an anemone. And an anemone. Okay, that's a shame, but we wasted uh, because I can on that. And maybe I should have just saw it, seen that coming. Two, three cards in hand though. Like, I feel like these are operations, and if they're not operations, then we're gonna find out what they are. My word, this costs ten, ten to get through. We get two back, and it costs them four to res the two of them. That's disgusting. Tanuki D thinks we check everything they put down. The problem is that they're on some sneaky stuff like moon pools that I now know about. Uh, operation. There's a sting in hand and a moon pool in hand. Hmm. Okay. Oh, really? GG. Brutal start. I like the deck, though. Um, that's a cool deck. I kind of like that. It's... It's like net damage, but it's not senseless net damage. It's the uh... <laughs> I was digging for a because I can. I assume there's blood in the waters. Okay. Ooh, Ronin as well. Nice. Uh yeah, I I I like this deck. I think this is cool. Um I can imagine. Moon pools could be pretty sneaky. Um Yeah, so Manic Insomniac, if you're, um, this is sometimes pretty small writing, so they're essentially saying that this deck kind of requires you to work out whether your opponent is going to be very aggressive or to be kind of careful and plays it very differently depending on style. Uh, I, kind of, I, I really like it though, um, just because... It feels like that tempo, that like illustrious tempo net damage um, thing. Ah, sick! It's I'm gonna try Holtz Pub Nasubi. Yeah, um, we, I already spoke about your deck earlier, actually, or at least your idea. Look, because I, I, I um, see, we were we were discussing the the merits of of your marathon um and ghost tongue deck i'm sure i will try it at some point um highly totally on the dark web 
Um, yeah. Okay. I now want to build Isawak for the first time, like, properly. Um, which is interesting. I think I know what I'm probably going to be playing next week, but if I decide that I don't like that deck for some reason, maybe, maybe... I mean, I'm probably just going to try and build their deck, which always feel like it's not totally my thing, but um, it definitely felt it had a different, a very different feel to playing against like P trap decks, which was quite nice. Um, so, yeah, and we even have the tech and couldn't couldn't close it out. Um, mid tier jank, <laughs> like a uh, four janks out of ten. Uh, that's that's uh, that's apparently enough. Sports metal, cool. Okay. Um, do we like this opener? Yeah, I kind of do. I like having Begolta early. Jailbreak could be good early. Embezzle's really good early. We'll keep this. Um, the fact that they asked that suggests that they're not playing full, like, competitive tier sports, but we'll kind of see. Maybe they are. Uh, maybe we just get wrecked by it. Well, actually, like we've got some answers to triple audacity sports. Okay. Uh, we check server one, right? First click. Pretty sure we do. Uh, it's fine. Um, jailbreak HQ. We see, or we see a bass. Do we trash that, or do we potentially come back with an embezzle? What's the chances that they're on more? You see, this is tricky because it's like I think we just trash it. Oh, we should have come back with an embezzle. Feels rough. We're gonna trash that as well. Uh, I think we take two or we take one and we play Carpe Diem but I think I want to play Carpe Diem next turn yeah very Rashida so there was always the chance that I could risk them or kind of hope that they have a second asset in hand and go back with the embezzle and as it turned out, that would have been quite a good play. Um, made myself a little bit destitute early on, which could be an issue. Also, we've just put made drafter like really good <laughs> like really good so has potentially another reason not to just flat out trash them we're going to need money to be able to begolter interesting uh, let's hit one of these where are we going uh, is there any point in running archives? It's not any point in not running archives. Um, we can draw. Okay, done that in the wrong order, but that's well. No, we couldn't afford it to put down the turtle anyway. So we'll just gain free.
Um, put down total run R and D. Uh, no. Okay, they're drawing an audacity, which is good to know. So, I was going to say we can embezzle whilst they only have a few cards in hand. Probably less doable right now. Um, chances of that being a gatekeeper or a Hagen. I guess I have to get to probably about five. They're also probably on the virus. So maybe Turtle was the wrong call. Maybe I should have just put down the Begolta. I set up archives. Oh, and R and D. I was gonna say. Um fine. Let's draw. Are we okay checking server two? Because we could expose this ice. I think we will. We'll expose this. It is a drafter. We'll run server two. And we'll just gain the money, I think. We'll draw one. We'll take a credit. Uh, how much is draft to break? We need four credits to break it, right? One, two, three, four. So Begolta. So we need seven credits in total to land the embezzle run. Uh, yeah, and we might as well install the chest for when we do that because it costs two and we gain two. So we take one credit, we go draw, uh, in, uh, take a credit, play with Alter, play chess for play embezzle. Crap. <laughs> Okay. Right. What are we actually scared of here? Like Hagen? Not that great. Hmm. Draw again. Uh, I think we just play this for the money. And then... I guess depending on where it is, run R&D. Should have just put that down the Begolta. We could have run R&D, like... I don't want to show the Begolta yet. I'm going to show the Shesva. I guess I could have just drawn and thrown out something. I feel like I'm going to need this waking plant. So like Hagen would be bad, but would make them pretty poor. So I think next turn we can, we can probably put down a um, Begolta, run R&D. We probably need to get rid of that. So now I'm, I nearly threw out Miss Bones. I'm quite glad I didn't. Um, so we do we draw for a boomerang? Okay. So this kind of looks like Well, I guess we run this 
No, let's not run that yet. Let's try and force them to spend a bit of money. Whoa. Okay. That's fine, because that means we can get through it next turn. Do we embezzle now? What's the chances of another gatekeeper? And what's the chance that this is a Rashida? High enough. So gatekeeper stops us. Eli stops us. They might have put double drafter. Oh, right. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, sorry. Uh, for I have clicked it. Um, they might have put double drafter just because it's like quite good against Begolta. I think we do go now because also if the gatekeeper fires now, it's like the, the worst time for them to fire a gatekeeper. Unfortunately, it's the worst time for this embezzle to actually hit something meaningful. But we're still going to call operation because we like that's what we want to get rid of in their hands. I guess just a magnet, like pretty much all their ice might be free, actually. Magnet, gatekeeper. They are all issues. But if they spend free to res, then we run archives for a single turtle counter. And we just hope that whatever is in server one Hit one. Yes! I absolutely nailed it. And I think now we just, I think we do run archives here. Like, we still break a drafter. Magnet is fine now. Gatekeepers. Kind of alright. Like, I guess the gatekeepers, like, slightly annoying at this point. Come on. Uh, lag setting in. There we are. Okay. So this is okay. This actually costs us zero credits. We get our turtle counter. Ah, uh, I can't consider that for the future. Damn, it is a Rashida. That's, oh wow, that makes sense why they res the drafter. Well, I think, I think you still just don't there, right? Is this audacity? That means that this is a spin doctor, if so. No, they're just getting value from the cards in their hand before they have to discard them. That makes sense. Uh, okay, so we just go bones go, I think. This is 
is in case of Managarm. Um, Mavris. Somewhat expected. Marilyn. We'll trash that. And we will 100% trash this tranquility grid. Okay, do we check server four? It feels like one is, is one of the bad agendas, right? Maybe we can draw into it because I can and we can just get rid of it. Okay, mutual favor could be pretty good. We can go gamble, run archives, Mutual favor for um, a unity and then run server one. I think if you had over ten C, then probably. Um, so we could just check HQ here. We play the sure gamble first. Let's draw one in case we draw a bravado. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so they're saying that this is a hyperloop and I do believe them uh, that one can fire not the best bit, but some down to two credits, which is fine. And then I think I just draw one. Here. Okay, nuke is pretty good. We can maybe find a because I can to um to deal with whatever this is. Are they gonna audacity him? So I think that's the trank grid. Because we did see a a second trank grid in their hand but here uh we can go archives mutual unity run server one i guess we draw one card first then in case we draw a dirty laundry or a bravado Or possibly even, like we know this is a drafter, possibly even we look for reduces to see if we can find out what this ice is. I feel like they're quite likely to maybe pitch some hyperloops and stuff like that here. Uh, so let's draw one. Draw a dirty laundry. Ah, unfortunate. It's 
small chance that uh, they resin pop a spin doctor if this does end up not being a hyperloop and they just discarded an agenda that they want to get back uh, we'll break this for zero the Galta really is a little bit nutty Avarice Uh, we'll install our Unity. We do need to be careful because we are running out of MU, but I guess that's fine. We get, we can always ditch the turtle if we find our paperclip. Okay. So. I think the rest of this matchup basically relies on this embezzle landing. Uh, us getting down this wake and finding our virtuoso. And annoyingly, I don't want to install the wake. Oh, it is just the hyperloop. Oh, it's Mega Bree. Okay, that's fine. I prefer them to score that one out. If it really came to it. I mean, it's getting a little scary now because they are on four points. Now we get up because I can. That's a shame. At least we can bravado HQ here. Is there any reason to put down the other... No, we can't. Break the gatekeeper. See if they want to res the drafter. I mean, normally I'd say they don't, but if they're on audacity, then, then they might be fine going down to like zero credits. a biotic at least they are too poor to play that i am going to play this daily cast i think this is right at the at the limit of where i feel like i might be able to play a daily cast but if they oh dear how oh. okay so maybe that's wrong uh right well i'm in trouble now so now I need to embezzle and hit, like, I've scored zero points so far. This feels pretty bad. Can I go for the embezzle now? Let's do this, not hit the embezzle. It's fine. Um, we'll run HQ. Do we pay to get rid of that? No. Because it gives us a total counter. And then, don't love going back last click, but we just need to get accesses now. Problem is that they can then draw quite freely. Very freely if we hit an agenda. Next time put down a Waken Hammer HQ. Yeah, that's what I've gone for. Um we're kinda gonna need to win in pretty much one turn here. Uh and that turn needs to be very soon. 
bit of a shame we lost our class act because virtuoso might actually be pretty good we steal a mega free at least that's one thing they can't score they took money which is good it means that they don't have an audacity in hand because if they have an audacity then they just draw there um to make sure they have an agenda oh maybe they've just got it oh okay so that's just for Marilyn, right? Which is fine. But we are probably going to check it, just in case. Um, I guess we go HQ first. We know that there's one biotic in there. So we draw once. So if we draw once, we're running it like clicks are of a premium right now which is a problem <sighs> like we want to draw into one of three dirty laundries or one bravado carpe diem's not so good or two yeah, I think we draw once. That's not great. Uh, we'll run HQ once. We probably do need to check this server just in case. I guess potentially... No, it's fine. I was going to say maybe we should have run server one first. If we see the Marilyn, ooh, we steal a luminal. That's very good for us. Let's see if they draw here. If they don't draw, then I embezzle. Damn. I think I embezzle anyway. It gets us another wake counter. And then we might have to check this. I guess we could because I can it. Like in case it's an agenda so that they can't draw. Or we use because I can as a shuffle. could use because I can as a shuffle. I hadn't considered this. Because I can plus wake is actually pretty good. Because you can see like the top three because I can something and then go back and see another top three if you're, if you're charging this enough. Oh, it's a spin doctor. Hmm. Okay, we hit the biotic, which is good. There's a food in hand, which is fine. They can't steal. They can't do anything with that. Um, crashing the spin doctor is pointless. So we just go R and D and try and steal. Stealing a lot, isn't it? So we know there's a GFI in hand. <clears throat> Do we know anything else? We know there's a GFI and a Marilyn. If we steal the GFI, it's not great for us. So maybe we draw once. They have exactly seven. That's a shame. That is abiotic labor. They probably have an audacity by now. If we see four cards off R&D, what are the chances that we steal four points? Not high enough, I don't think. We need to steal two two-pointers. Okay, I'm going to draw and hope that they don't have it. Uh, we can throw out chest buff. If we had, I 
I guess like trashing the spin doctor to stop them audacitying out a free one is a play. Trashing the spin doctor to stop them de-resing it with a bifurcation, uh, GG. I hoped I had one more turn. Um, felt like if I dig on Aaron that turn, I just give you the win. Well, so the problem, oh, whoops, sorry, I just, I don't know what I did, what did I do, I wasn't trying to do that. Um, so the problem is I can't actually lock R&D, um, because sports metal, high chance I'm on zero dupes. Oops. Um, so you can't actually lock the deck against sports metal because on that turn, if I, um, if I steal any agendas, then they just draw, which, and when they draw, like say I steal like two agendas, they're going to draw four cards. And by then they, they have the win, like almost guaranteed. Um, I... Exactly, but I just don't feel like it's a good enough card right now. Um, there's always better, but my games tonight haven't quite proved. Um, yeah, tricky one. Anyway, I think that is me done for the night. Um, I hope you enjoyed the stream. I got to play like one of my favorite cards in one of my, the best deck names, uh, that, uh, but I, I feel like is out there strong super strong yeah um and i got to play criminal and i don't play criminal very often so you know i thought we'll do something a bit different i will try and play a corp next week because i do realize that i've played like anarch shaper criminal three weeks in a row so uh i have gotcha uh, i have some ideas if you want to throw uh anything fairly ludicrous my way then please do and if not then I will see you next week with some jank ass corp deck. Uh, but for the time being, uh, I hope you all have a great week. And 